well, I'm Matthew Doucette of Zona Games. I would be uh, the game producer. Uh, this is Jason Doucette. He would be uh, the lead programmer. Zona Games is, uh, specializes in retro, intense retro games. We basically take uh, we basically take game style, gameplay of the past, make games based on that, and intensify it. So intensifying games, uh, what we do is take the original uh, gameplay concepts of the retros. We're not remaking retros. We're taking what worked on the older school games that everybody likes and making them so that they're fun today. Because you go back and play the originals, you find that they're a little bit slow and boring. Well, we have a lot more processing power today and, and the expectation of gamers are a lot higher. So we're going to take those, those concepts and make new games out of them with the same gameplay, but with a lot more stuff going on on the screen. For Duality ZF, one of, the, one of the things that we did was introduce dual play, which is the ability to control two ships on the screen at the same time. And because the Xbox already has a four-player uh, ability, you can have eight ships on the screen all independently controlled at the same time. But that doesn't end there. You can also, what Duality does is allows you to, the firepower of the player ships and the, and the, the opponents that you're trying to destroy to, to draw as many and, and actually allow you to, to have as much firepower as the processing allows on the heart, from the hardware. So we have, even an individual ship is much more powerful and much more intense than what you would be used to in the original games. But you have times eight. You have eight of those on the screen at the same time. So that's, that's just one indication or one idea. The idea to intensify retro games basically comes from all the games that Jason and I wanted to make in the past and never and couldn't make. Of course, those games were, these are games back in the early 80s, right? And to, you know, up to probably the early 90s. All of those games now are retro games. So when we come back and we have the ability now to make the games we wanted to make, they're retro games. And those are the games that uh, we're most in love with, basically. And there's something classic about them. You know, a retro game, a classic game, some of that classic gameplay never gets old. Like, in 100 years from now, you can still play uh, a two-dimensional game and still have a lot of fun with it, whether it's a shoot 'em up game platform or anything like that. So that's kind of where it comes from, is from the games that we played in the past when we wanted to make games, but basically couldn't. Um, we're not as attracted to making these new, the most, you know, AAA release type games. Uh, if we if we ever got to there, we w we would still have some sort of retro feel to our games. Definitely. Basically, we wanna we wanna get our games out on all the major platforms. Basically, that means PC, Xbox, uh, Xbox Live Arcade, like the downloadable sections of all these platforms, uh, PSN and WiiWare, and maybe hit the mobile platforms. Um, but mobile platforms sometimes can't handle the intensity that our games bring. We'd have to kind of dumb them down a slight a bit. I think we still have maybe the most intense mobile games, but uh, there's, there's that barrier there. We'll have to see whether we want to stay true to the, the intensity that we bring kind of thing. But Okay, well Decimation X is, is, is the only game we have released now, and it's something that we put together in under a month, and the, the Japan market loves it. It's the number one selling and number one top rated any game. So uh, what's funny is we actually knew that the, that market was would be the best received for our style of retro intensity, intense retro. And uh, anyways, the more the rest of our games are going to follow that philosophy. So they're, they're probably all going to do very well in Japan, but hopefully we'll break better into the, the U.S. and the Canadian market as well. It, we're not doing that bad actually, but. Uh, once we have our bigger titles released, the, something that, that we've been working on the last year and a half, Duality ZF, that should do well in all the markets. And uh, for the future, we're going to continue doing the games that we like and intensifying them. So we want the, the original gameplay that, that everybody enjoys from the 80s and 90s and uh, uh, with today's uh, the intensity of the, to meet the expectation of the gamer today. So that's what we're going to continue to do.